Hey guys, Knoopsy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Shazam app for Mac OS X. Now this is pretty useful, and it has been on many mobile devices for a while, but now it is on Mac OS X for your laptop or desktop computer, and it is pretty useful. So we're going to take a look at it right now. We're going to open it up from my applications. Here it is. And now Shazam is now finding the music around you, as you can see up here. We have a top little uh, icon up there for Shazam. And we can hit OK. And now if we click on Shazam, you can see the two songs that I've already tested this out with. So it tells you the history of songs that it is actually ID'd. So you're able to go back and click on the song, download it on iTunes. And if you click on the actual song, it brings you to the Shazam page where you're able to get lyrics and more tracks over here, as you can see. And you're able to preview it as well. So that's pretty useful. We're going to actually test this out right now with uh, Drowning Butterflies once again. Here we go. And as you can see, we have a little notification up here which comes up saying the exact song title and the artist. And if we can swipe that away, and it will still show up over here once again. So that's pretty awesome. You're able to turn it off too if you don't want to have it on all the time. And there you go, it's pretty easy. Uh, there's some settings, you can launch it on startup, you can share the song with friends, you can download it for mobile, you can email them if you have any questions, and we also have about over here. So there you go, that's how to use Shazam for OS X, and it's version 1.0.1. .1. It's pretty awesome and overall pretty useful. So if this video was helpful or interesting, be sure to leave a like down below, comment what you think about Shazam for OS X, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.